Steroids. S-T-E-R-O-I-D-S. Steroids. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to hear, innit? Well, you know what? We're going to talk about that in a minute. For those who don't know me, my name is Chisel. And before I start this video, I'd like to say I do not condone or promote the use of anabolic steroids. It is illegal and harmful to the body. Okay, on the subject of steroids. Now, it is an interesting subject because I know you people don't hear about branched chain amino acids, glutamine and creatine, all that boring stuff. You know what I mean? You want to hear about the real stuff, innit? And you know, as a, you know, as I'm kind of a fitness icon and you know, I am involved in the fitness industry and you know, there is a lot of anabolic steroid use, you know? And not, not only for health and fitness, you know, just even in sports in general anyway, you know? You know, all sports people use it. So, but the main sports we're talking about, obviously, that people notice is bodybuilding and powerlifting, obviously because of their size and their strength. So, you know, many people, you know, there's many categories in fitness, as you know now, you know, you got, um, was it, we've got women's bikini, women's fitness, you know, you've got men's physique, and um, what's it, you've got classic physique, classic bodybuilding. There's so many categories, I've lost count now, you know. But um, yeah, they, uh, you know, they all use it. You know, as you know, there's different types of steroids. You know, you, you, you know, you got the, the ones that really bulk you up, you know, like I guess testosterone, d bowl and stuff like that. And you got the ones that cut you, like, you know, Primo, Winstrel, Anavar, you know, so forth. And, you know, that's, that's what they all use. So, you know, obviously, you know, maybe like in the men's physique, they don't use so much like of the bulking stuff because, you know, it's more about getting cut and shape, isn't it? You know, and you see the really huge bodybuilders, you know, they're using like the heavy stuff, the heavy bulkers, especially in the off season. But, you know, yeah, there's, you know, there's a lot of anabolic use and, you know, I guess um, each to their own, isn't it? You know, it is illegal. As I said, I don't promote it, but it has to be talked about because people do use it. And, you know, um, I like to say, you know, there's women using it as well. You know, they, they normally use the lighter stuff because obviously, you know, if they use the heavier stuff, you know, it's going to make their voice deep and you know, they're starting getting hair growth and stuff like that. And, you know, a lot of the side effects is irreversible. So it's a lot harsher on the woman's system than it is to man because obviously men produce androgens naturally. So, you know, it's much more harmful to women, you know, and they can lose their hair as well. So, you know, for women, you know, this is very, very dangerous. But um, yes, you know, there is a lot of use, even just ordinary guys, not so much the women, there's a few, but not so much the women. Women normally use it if they're competing. I don't think there's many women using it just for, you know, just for um, ordinary purposes, just for going to the gym, just a general gym girl, you know, just keeping fit for herself. And, you know, I don't think they really use steroids, but you know, a lot of guys who don't do nothing, they use steroids. And you know, don't be surprised, you'll see that skinny guy in the corner struggling to push weights, struggling to bench 60 kilos. Oh, some of them are using steroids as well, you'd be surprised. The thing is, they think that, oh, if they use steroids, they're going to grow into some monster or something, you know? It doesn't work like that, because these guys, they don't eat. Yeah, they train, they miss sessions and all that. They don't work hard enough. You've got to push hard in the first place. If you're not pushing hard and making gains in the first place, steroids ain't going to do nothing. So, you know what I mean? These, some people are just full They think, oh, that guy's using steroids, look at the size of him. So they think, oh yeah, if they use steroids, they're gonna get big as well. No, it takes years of pushing yourself, eating loads of food, you know, up to maybe six meals a day. Maybe not every day, but some days you're gonna be eating six meals. You're not gonna be eating less than four anyway. And it's gotta be good quality food as well. You know, everything works. It's just like you're, you're trying to build muscle you're eating, you know, five, six meals a day, but you're not sleeping. You're getting two, three hours sleep a day. It's not going to work, you know, or you're overtraining. You're training for like three or four hours a day and you're training twice a day as well. It doesn't matter how much you eat. It's not going to work, is it? Because you're overtraining. So everything has got to be in coordination. Everything's got to be right. Your food intake's got to be right. Your training can't be overtraining. You've got to train the right way. You use the right exercises, the right combination of exercises to grow and you've got to rest enough as well. And even then, it takes a long time anyway. You know, even if you're gifted, you know, 
you get this in a short space of time, but you know, it still takes time. But anyway, yes, so I like to say, you know, anyone who's ever thinking about, um, you know, steroid uses, you know, think again. You know, I don't condone it. I would tell you not to use it really, because obviously it's illegal and, you know, there's many side effects that you probably don't not aware of or you can't even deal with yourself. You know, and don't listen to this guy because he's just going to sell you steroids because he wants to make money. So don't be listening to the dealer. So I'll tell you, you know, you know, just the best way is to just train hard for a long period of time. The gains are slow, yes, but you know, you'll get there. Eat correct, you know, use the right method of training, you know, learn, you know, read your magazines, learn from other people, you know, learn from guys who are up there, you know, who have been training for over 10 years, you know, you've got to learn from them and look at different training methods, you know, and try and get there that way. And then later on, if you decide to use it, then, you know, that's up to you, isn't it? But, you know, that's that's the best way to do it. So, um, guys, yes, take care and keep watching, you know, my videos. And, you know, remember, fitness after 40, it's never too late. And keep eating well, drink your water, and make sure you get your rest. Okay, turn your notifications on and subscribe to my channel. Get chiseled. See you later.